One of the big uh, newbies in, um, in, in version 4.6 is we can now handle digital uh, products in Neopack Professional. Um, prior to that, um, we were handing them with iOS, and, and I'll come to that. But even before that, we need to just have a quick little revision on what I mean by a product. In Timestone language, we have, broadly speaking, uh, four different types of product. We have a portrait, things that you handle in Neopack or Outpost, your, your pack layouts, your 8x10s, bookmarks, ID cards, anything that you handle in Neopack is a, is a portrait product. Um, you have comps, obviously, in no comp. Not many people have got Neo Group, but that's a group product. And do not think of a group product as being a, a group team photo that you put into Neopack. That is a portrait product. By group product, I'm talking about things that you use in Neo Group, which most of you don't have, so we can jump right over that. And then digital image, that's what we're calling, a, that's also a product. The subject's image, doesn't always have to be a subject, but for today we'll just say the subject's image. And any of these product types can be a digital product. Any of these products can be delivered digitally. We can deliver not just the kid's image, we can deliver the kid's memory mate, we can deliver the kid's comp. Anything can be delivered uh, digitally. Is that okay? This is old stuff, but it's worth summarising what our main product groups are. The subject image we can send in two ways. And again, I'm preaching to the converter for most people. We can just go grab the image off your hard disk and s send it. Um, or you can make an 8x10, make it as a template, you know, make 8x10, 4x5, and send that. And it, one of them is just grabbing the image off your hard disk and sending it. The other one, it's the same as if you've made a template, rendered that to a JPEG, and sent it. In the end, the customer gets the same thing, but there's two different ways of doing it. Most people with iOS have been, I think, using the second version, the product version, because they can use customer versions of templates. And this is old news for you, for, for, for most of you. All right, so there's two ways of sending the sub-image. Image. Um, in TS Admin, <coughs> where is it? Shut this down. <coughs> Launched him too many times. Yep, it's recording. So there's, there's a couple of examples. I, I've got a product, D image underscore H. The product type is digital image. And they're the other product types. Portrait, comp, group, forget about portrait family, portrait folder for, for, for this discussion. See the specialised column? If I leave that blank, that means it's going to send the, di the kid's image at full size. Whatever size you've got the JPEG on your hard disk, that's what it's going to grab and send and you, we'll call that a high res. I've also got its sister product, which is low res, same product type, digital image, but in a specialised column, that's where I can set the dimensions of it if I want something other than the full size. And in this example, I'm going to send it at 400 by 500 pixels. We can do a high, high res and low res that way. What's up, Mark? Okay. All right. But... We can also make a template. We could make, say, an 8x10 template um, as a portrait product and add that to an offer and tell it to send it as a digital product instead of a printed product. So if I look at the offers, where's TS admin? TS admin, oh, here we go. <coughs> In this example, 
I'm sending the di a, a digital image. It's actually a portrait product. Okay, and I'm going to send it at 100 dpi. If I added the digital product, notice I'm not setting the DPI here because I set that in the products table. I set that back there. At, at either, depending on which product I chose, if I chose image high, it was going to use the full image. If I chose image low, it's going to send it at 400 by 500. That's sending the image as it is. If, on the other hand, I'm using a portrait product, I have to set what DPI I want it rendered out. It's just, like I said, it's the same as printing to bitmap and then grabbing that bitmap and emailing it to them. You've got your two different ways. All right. Now, up until now, the only way to send delivery products, be they the subject image, just as, as we've been discussing, or be they comps, memory mates, bookmarks, whatever else, was to use our internet ordering system and to have those orders download into Fulfill and Fulfill would um, render them, send them uh, to the, send the customer an, uh, an email with links and those links would, uh, they'd be able to download their digital products. So people with our internet ordering system, I'm sure know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's the only, up until now, that's the only way we could send stuff, uh, digital products. Now with 4.6, Well, let's go back a step. Our internet ordering system has two ways of handling orders, downloading them into Fulfill and downloading them into Neopack. The only way we could do digital delivery was if the orders were downloaded into Fulfill, as like reorders. If you wanted to, to the orders to download into Neopack, like as in pre-orders, maybe you don't even, even have the images yet, couldn't do that. We couldn't handle digital products that way because Neopack doesn't know about digital stuff. That's changed with 4.6. With 4.6, you can now... Our online customers can now download the orders into Neopack and that can handle digital orders. But furthermore, once we, once we broke through that barrier, any order, your paper orders, your scans, can also now handle digital products. So if kid, any paper order you scan or take in from a text file can also um, be, be a digital product. That's what I'm going to show you. But I'm going to start pre-orders and we will go from there. Okay, uh, forgetting that, that image, but I've just got a simple, what I'm calling a digital pre-order job. Um, I've uploaded this online. We're going to order uh, for it and download those orders and um, get them emailed, even though we haven't got images. The, the workflow I'm, I'm mimicking here is a very typical workflow. Um, it, before the, sc the school is shot, you want to upload the job. You want to upload the job to iOS and take orders even before the, the, the job is, is shot. Um, you shoot the job, you'll be taking more orders as you shoot the job, perhaps in capture post or not. You'll be scanning some orders, paper orders. You then need to somehow, you, you, you'll want to merge your online orders with your paper orders in the one job. So you will be downloading our online orders into our job. They'll be there together with the paper orders. And now they've got images because you've done the shop, done the shoot. Then we're going to upload. We can upload the job again and take reorders. So that's a very, very typical workflow of our internet ordering system: o sending the job up in before time, taking orders, downloading them to Neopack, merging them with the uh, the TNJs. For example, if you've shot with Capture Post, you've now got images, and and off you go. <coughs> but prior to now those orders that you wanted to download in Neopack couldn't be digital. So let's see how that's changed. Um, <coughs> now, first quick look at iOS. Does anybody want to order in um, Cahoots with me so we get a few orders? Can you see the keys? Any, uh, anybody who's online? No? Any of you guys? Any of the staff can help me out here? <laughs> 
Well, I'll order for Lawrence Bennett. I'm going to copy the key. Control K to copy the key. The job I've already uploaded. I'm not going to go through how I uploaded it because um, we'll do that later. So there's no subject images yet. These are just standard graphics. They are not real images for the person. We haven't photographed them yet. Um, who wants some keys? Does anyone want to order in cahoots? I'll go back to that. Tommy, were you about to do it? Can you see from there or do you want me to yell them out? Number 20? Wish I could see it. You can see it? You tip it in an eye. All right. I mean, you can, different people can order for the same person. That's fine. That's realistic. And Dr. Smith, <laughs> number 20, is X. Z, Z, <laughs> S for Sam, 5, G, L, L. Um, we'll order for Christopher Thompson as well. Another key if someone wants to do it. G, E, U, 7, H, Y, K, P. And... Last one we'll do A C J Y X B Z L, and I'll order one as well. Then we've got a bit of um, substance to it. Yo. Yeah, I was going to mention that later, but they usually are. <laughs> one of the things we've changed in 4.6 is it's no longer possible to get an inappropriate shoot key. I'm not going to go into details about what inappropriate means. Um, you can use your, your dirty imaginations. Um, but it won't give you some of those words that you don't want people to have. So in this, this very simple offer, there's just a comp and a digital, digital download. If you are ordering, make sure you order that second package that's got the digital download as well, whether or not you add the comp to it or not. So I'll just r rush through and order. Right, let me know what you need done, whoever's doing it. How many, who, who was doing it so I know? You, you still going? All right, you all done? Who was ordering? So let's download those orders into Neopack. Orders, download online orders. There they are. Thank you for ordering Tommy, Brandon, Phil, David, more eagles, <coughs> Matt Dillon, Peter, Fred Farkle. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we, we have those orders in. They're, they're in Neopack. They are digital orders and they are in Neopack. But like I said, we, they're in. We're ready to do the shoot. I've already done the shoot. I've, I in, will show you the shoot. File, TNJ file, open. Here's the shoot. We had, uh, it's the same kids, they now have images. Uh, and we scanned in some, some orders as we were um, photographing them. But we can also add some orders afterwards. I'm doing this in the TNJ, but it doesn't matter. We, we could be doing it in the job itself. So there's the TNJ. We've matched uh, with images and, and matched, uh, matched data. Go back to the database job, digital pre-orders. File, import TNJ file, and merge it. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can do it. You just do it again. It will, no, it's, it's a new order. Yeah, it won't repeat the order. It's a new order. Oh, correct. Oh, for sure. The orders that have already been downloaded will not download again. You can do that process of download orders as many times as you like, and only the new ones will come in. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a good question. You should get a chocolate. Yep. Post orders? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a, it's a, it's a piece of cake or a piece of chocolate. Um, it's just that it means you're going to get a sneak preview of stuff in iOS that I was going to keep for, for later, but that's okay. Um, where's the job? <coughs> what was it called? Digital pre-orders. Digital. There you go. So, Brad, to begin with, in the general tab, okay, at the moment, the job is set to download as pre-orders into Neopack, Pack Builder, Data Post. Now, it's very important. We're using the terminology pre-order. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be pre-shoot. Okay. We, we call them pre-orders because that's predominantly where it's used, where we come from. Uh, the pre-orders and pre-shoot are the same thing. But really, this method, order processing, the order processing option, download as pre-orders into Neopack, that it, they could have images. It, it, it's just where the orders go. Do you want the orders to go to fulfill, where it's not now not job specific, they just drop down automatically, you know? or do you want them to come into Neopack? If you want them to come into Neopack, you have that option, the bottom one. And, and then to answer your question, once you want to turn this off, it's just a matter of doing that. Uh, okay, I had I had identify on. So let me. That's okay. All right, so in your scenario, if you placed an order late, before I touch this, I would want to come in. So you, you would want to cut it off after you've downloaded all your pre-orders. You can do it any time, but just for your own workflow, it's better to do two things simultaneously. So orders, download, online orders, and your one came in, Bradley Cooper. American sniper. And now it's just a matter of changing uh, in the general tab to download the orders into fulfill. You don't have to take the job down. You don't have to do, you may want to change the offer and change from other parameters, but really all you're asking is how to do this. And you hit upload, which is the same as refresh. And it looks at things, it looks at whatever m else may have changed. Okay, and now the job is the other way around. The images will be there um, and that the orders will go to fulfill. It's really quick and easy. It's really simple and nice. You expire the job, yeah. Yeah. So you, you can um, exp expire a job. Okay, so you would expire it. You knowing the, Then you know that no more orders could have come in after that date. Download them. And you don't have to, you have to worry about any other orders that might be still up there. Uh, we are working on a, an admin, admin console that you'd be able to see that there are orders up there that you need to download um, as well. So that, that'll, that, that'll be handy as well. Alan? <coughs> yeah. In this example, yeah. Let's not get too distracted because what well, this particular thing is about digital handling in Neopack. But I wanted to show you that we can handle digital orders going into Neopack as part of that, that process. So we have now all these digital orders uh, in Neopack. Um, the jobs we merged, there are images now. There are paper orders, because you know online orders aren't shown in de uh, details mode. So these are, these are paper orders. Right? Um, and then in orders mode, See, they're the paper orders, and some of them are a digital product. 
digital image. Online orders, a lot of those are digital, digital products. What happens now? Oh, it's pretty easy. You just go to Q mode. The digital orders have an icon to, to alert you to the fact that they're digital orders. But more than that, you've got filters along the top. If you just want to see your digital orders, take off printer. And so now we're just seeing the digital stuff. We've got more filters. It, these are the product types. If we turn off portrait, um, we're not going to see them. You know why we're not going to see them? Yeah, because these, remember I said there's two ways of handling digital as the image itself or as a portrait product. These are the portrait product. This is actually an 8x10 template and I'm going to be sending it at 100 dpi. And I'm, the customer doesn't care, that doesn't, they don't know. You know they, they're not getting a full size image or whatever. They don't really care that they're getting a 400 by 500 pixel image. Yeah, most people do it this way. Would you, would you guys do it this way? What sort of size is your template? Yeah. So you have an 8x10 and you either send it at 300 dpi or a 96 dpi. Yeah, if you want to send it high or low res. So the important main filter here is the output. The output for here is digital. Now, what happens here? Well, the order... <laughs> just to confuse you a little bit, will still be going to fulfill. Because fulfill is what sends the stuff. Our digital products get sent to Amazon S3. They get stored there until your, and your customer gets an email of a link to download them from there. We don't attach the images to an email because I'd never get to them. They get spam filtered, they're too big and, and whatnot. The customer gets an email with links to those digital products. Those digital products are being stored on an Am Amazon account that we set up. Um, fulfill does all that stuff, right? So we, we need to launch Fulfill. Um, and I'll just leave Fulfill in the background for now. Mode, digital delivery, of that. <coughs> and... There's a little icon on the toolbar, digital upload, yeah? Or edit, uh, sorry, is it, where is it, Peter? I haven't got it here. Oh, file, sorry, file digital upload, control U. If you want to use the icon. Now, digital upload, what do I want to send? All of them, unprinted only, selected only. Uh, ignore unmatched subjects, because you may not have the, f the images yet for some of them. I'll do all. And they will drop into here. This can just be running in the background on your server somewhere. <coughs> Very good question. I'm going to come to that, but you'll get a chocolate. Don't worry. Let me come to it. <coughs> and up they go. So you guys, if you've got access to your emails, uh, any moment now you should get an email with links to download your, your digital products. And boy, I wish we had the internet this quick in Australia. Have a look at that. <laughs> we, yeah. Australia now, has internet speed is now ranked 60th in the world. It's dropped from 30 to 60 in three years. Countries that do not have food have a better internet service. They could actually get online and order takeout and get it delivered to them quicker than we can. Yes. Uh, no, but we can make it longer. It's, it's at 30 days. I think we... Yeah. Yeah. Just hang on to that thought because I've got a solution for you. The thing about just leaving them on there forever, it's going to end up costing us. Yeah, if, it, if, if it's l too long and a lot of people are using this, and now with Neopact there's going to be a lot more going on there, then it costs us too much and then we'd have to start charging and we don't want to do that. Uh, did people get their emails? Yeah? Yeah? Do I, 
I'll come to that as well. Good questions. I'm glad I got you all excited eventually. All right. Says that, that boring stuff about templates. You didn't want to know about that. <laughs> all right. Hang on a sec. Look. Quiet, quiet in the set. Quiet in the set. Speaking of quiet in the set, they were, they were filming here. I got here Thursday. On Friday, there was a, I think it looked like a Hollywood film set happening in one of the squares. It was fasc fascinating to watch. But anyway. All right. Now. You need to know where the emails go. If the order has been placed online, the email goes to the person who placed the online order, the customer. Yeah? If the order has been placed as a paper order, where does that go? Now, a lot of you wouldn't have got your email. Now, I can tell you why. For a paper order to be sent, we're going to need... A, remember, a paper order goes against the subject. Online orders are for a customer, and a customer could be ordering for lots of subjects. Paper orders are against a subject. So we have an email field. Right? And you can enter. Who's got an email uh, they can yell out to me? Brad, you're able to check it here? Dot org. That's it? Okay. So, Brad, I'm going to place an order for you. Uh, no, because it obviously just did that. Because exactly what that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Pete, we need to handle that. I just realised we need to handle that. Um, but you see, you can do it again. It's not to stop you. I was able. I, I hit upload, right? And a lot of those subjects did not have uh, an email address. Well, we we'll have to think about it, but we need to do something here. Yeah. yeah. Where, place it where? No. No, no, remember, an order for a subject... Look, I haven't tried putting two emails in there, to be honest. You know, semicolon apart. I don't think that'll work. But a, 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 that, that order does not belong to Brad. That order belongs to Samuel. It's not an online order. That's Samuel's order. It's just like any other order. It, it, belongs, to, you know, it's, it belongs to the kid. Now, the other part of the question that you should be thinking, oh, I don't really want to buy iOS, we, you know, we use our own online system. You do not need iOS to handle digital paper orders. Okay, you need Fulfill, but you do not need our online system. So even if you don't have our internet ordering system, you can still do this. What you would do, and again, uh, I've, I've <coughs> documented all this, so if you're not getting it straight away, go back and look at the movie that we're recording, but also... Um, it's documented. You'll still need to download Fulfill. Up the top, just like TS, TS Admin, you connect to your, your MySQL server, hostname, username, password. Down the bottom, your web server becomes not your website, but a generic site we set up for people, such people. And the address for North America is this. Fulfill. Is that right? Uh, not double I, double L. Dash US <coughs> dot time stone software dot, dot. Sorry, no, I've done, done all that wrong. Got fat fingers. I should sit down at my keyboard. That's why I brought it. Yeah. Fulfill dash US dot time stone software dot com. It's, it's not a real site. I mean, yes, it sort of is. If you went to your web browser and put that in, it goes nowhere. It's a server in the cloud that does what the iOS people get done for them. It's the same thing. We'll send, it's what send the email. It's what controls uh, sending the digital product to the, the account, in the Amazon account. Everything works the same way. The iOS people could still you could use this. There's nothing to stop you if you want your paper order stuff. Uh, you know, to, to, to both simultaneously. I don't know why you would, but you could. I mean, anybody could use this. 
All right. So if you're, if you're doing, only doing paper orders and, and want to do them digitally, you still need to download Fulfill. We don't charge for Fulfill. Um, you install it. That's how you connect. You connect to that spot. And it does. Anything you like. The password is anything you like. Not literally, it, it can be anything you like. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no, it wouldn't work. No, we're going to have to come up with a system to get by what you're saying, that you're going to need multiple email addresses. That won't work. And I think last time I looked at your database, you've got a generic email field, but it's not in star, star, star. So we're going to have to add that. And if you want, we'll have to copy the data over to that spot. Or you just start again. But um, Mark? Well, yeah, I think there's more questions. And then we will be, yeah. <coughs> no. Has to be network pack. Because any digital product, can, any product can be digital. Neopack's the only program that knows about them all. Neopack 4.6, that is, knows about comps, packs, groups, etc. So you need Neopack. <coughs> not if, not if comps all you've got. Yeah. Mick. Yep. Yeah. You could use this as a resend mechanism. Yeah, if someone hasn't got an online, um, they haven't got the email online or the links have expired, you can just come in here and, and or that way. But I'll show you another way as well to do that. Um, I didn't really answer your question, did I? You're not satisfied. But you understand? Yeah. Yeah. You can come in here and place a, a dummy order and, and send it again or change it to unprinted and send it again or just isolate the order and hit selected and send only that one. It's just like any other printing except it's going to the cloud instead of going to your, your dirst. Yeah. No, if they're, if they're online orders, they're not going to be... Um, well, if they're pre-orders, yes, but are you talking about fulfill orders now? Yeah, that's different. I'll come to that. I'll, I was going to show it tomorrow. I'll show you after coffee. Bill. It <laughs> You're not sending them. It's not your mail server sending them. It's ours. Yeah, and we use global one. We're very good at sending lots of emails. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, but, but you can you can select. There's, there was all selected. Yeah, yeah. But there's no there's no send twenty at a time or send ten at a time. Yeah. Uh, there were some more questions. Right. Do you want to get a really quick coffee and I'll get some water? Uh, when I say real quick, let's be back in no more than five minutes, and we'll finish off this little bit. Thank you for keeping the five-minute break down to 15. <laughs> All right. During that last 10 or 15... I, I started it. I, th there were some questions that came to me, and I said, hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second, and I never, probably never got back to them. So whoever, whoever's questions I didn't answer, please ask them again before we move on. While you're thinking about that... Um, <clears throat> Alan asked uh, a good question for which he's now enjoying a chocolate. Um, he said they don't use the auxiliary database, they still use the auxiliary files. I won't go into what the difference is too much, apart from one of them keeps your thumbnails in the database, the other one keeps them as loop files somewhere else on the server. And each, each method's got its advantages and disadvantages. So he said the archive program wouldn't be of any uh, use to him because the that they're not using the auxiliary database, and I said, that's your big database. That is true, except the very little thumbnail, the very smallest one that's blurry, but is always there, um, that one is stored in the Timestone database. Um, so that 
it's still worth doing because when you archive a job with TS Archive, it removes that little blurry thumbnail as well. And that table that holds those little thumbnails accounts for about 90% of the size of your timestamp database. So it's still worth doing. It's still worth doing, <coughs> even if you're not using auxiliary database. Yes? Indeed. Um, da, 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 da. There were some other unanswered questions that I said I was going to come back to, or, or not. Now, Eric, I love the challenge. So I fixed that job for you. I actually used another job. Could you repeat your email address? Eric? Oh, sorry, Tomcat. I took the liberty um, of ordering a PK4 for you. And if you look at my offer for this particular job, PK4 is a memory mate. Okay. Now, if it's in the offer, can you see I'm going to send it to you at 100 DPI? Okay. So I ordered that for you. <coughs> and you see, in, if I go to uh, Q mode, Uh, and just filter for today's orders because I have a lot of old ones. Uh, there it is there. That's your memory, mate. You see, the, you see the download icon? That's immediately alerting you to the fact that it, it's, going, it's a digital. Yeah? Um, and <coughs> you want to see the template? No, no. I told it it was a digital download. This is just a standard memory, mate. I could have ordered this as a printable product, as a downloadable, uh, upload downloadable product, or both. Where I told it to be digital was when I added it to my package. So package PK4 in the offer is called a print at home, download your memory mate. There it is there. And instead of saying print it, I'm getting zero copies printed, we're going to get it downloaded at 100 dpi. If I wanted that printed instead, I would have unchecked that and put the number of copies there, which is normally just one. No, you have to. The whole thing needs to be version 4 SQL jobs and you need administrators. Yes. Or it can be both. You, yes. As Peter pointed out, you could, for the same product, the same package, Eric, I hope you're watching this, be a printable product and a, and a download at the same time. Um, you can't schedule the time, but you can pause it. You can I mean, that's that's cool. That's that's why it should be. I think. I mean, if I order something online that's going to be delivered to me digital, I expect it within the minute. <laughs> so I think that's reasonable. But you can control when it gets sent simply by when you print it in inverted commas here in Neopack. So I, I'm going to hit the upload bottom button now, but I could do that tomorrow because maybe I want to retouch these images first. Um, so that should go to fulfill. And this time I'm using the generic fulfill, not the iOS fulfill. <coughs> and it should, should come, it, it polls it I think every 60 seconds it looks. If I've done it right, which I may not have, but uh, it, it'll drop in here and upload. Now, I, I, I know this is new to you and a little bit confusing. This is not new to us. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I showed this to the Australians in October, and their school season starts in January. They've been using it. This is all working and, and you know, well tested. Now, apart from functionality that's missing that you've pointed out, um, it's, it's good to go. Um, so there's your order. It just came in. I process the queue. It renders it, uploads it. You should have that email if you're link now. You could you could take phone orders this way if you want. Someone rings up, you know, place an order, it's digital, fulfills running in the background, have it automatically add to the queue, automatically process. By the time they've hung up the phone, they've got the product. They've got the email with the link. <coughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's exactly what that is. See, it says automatically add to the queue. Automatically, uh, Randy, after you hit upload in Neopack, just like you've got to hit print to send it to print, you've got to click upload here to send it to upload. Once you do that, it will automatically go to fulfill and automatically upload and send them the email. But you've got to trigger that printing unlike unlike your iOS, the orders just... Yes. Trigger here. But alternatively, you've got iOS, so you could be doing that through iOS with your bypass payment, placing an order, and it'll automatically go to fulfill, and that's all automatic. Yeah. But in Neopack, you've still got to trigger that that, uh, that that option. Not to say down the road we couldn't add something that would say automatically do you digital. As soon as they get added to the queue, they'd automatically go to fulfill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Well, we can do that for you. I didn't get your wedding present or one for Jacob, so we'll do that for you. Peter, is that is that feasible? To have the digitals as soon as they hit the queue, optionally go straight to fulfill. Yeah. How, how would you use it? In yep. So in this little example we just did now, it was totally independent of iOS, if you noticed. It was all done through Neopack. I added a, a um, paper order for, for Eric, who was also known as Maple. Um, email address was there. Added PK4, which was her memory mate. Uh, it went to the queue. Hit print. Well, not really hit print. Hit upload in the queue. Okay, and I can do that again. Um, and the order goes to fulfill. And fulfill in this case is connected not to your iOS site because you don't own it. It connects to that generic site that anybody can use. And Eric, I assume you got the email by now. <laughs>